Hey folks, Rob here, and uh, we're headed to the woods today. Now, I'm not going to have time to camp out tonight. Uh, I was going to camp yesterday, but uh, Macy was sick and had to stay home with her, so I was going to go last night. Couldn't do it. Uh, but we are going to set up a couple new things I got, and we're going to kind of test them out. I'm going to, you know, uh, make sure I'm familiar with setting them up and putting them together and uh, uh, see how they uh, go together and uh, put them together like I'd be camping in them. And uh, then Saturday, uh, I'm off this weekend, so I'm going to try to do Saturday night and Sunday night. And... Uh, because I go back to work on, so I'll have to pack up Monday sometime, come home because I work on Tuesday. So anyway, stay tuned. Got a couple new products. Got a new uh, product from Nightcat. It's going to be a good one if it works out. This going to be the the uh, the cat's meow. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the videos, and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, folks, Rob here, and. Uh, we got a new product here. We're out here in the Daniel Boone National Forest, Eastern Kentucky. This area up in here is called Zilpo. It's in the Bath County side of Cave Run Lake. It's a recreational area. There's boat ramp, campgrounds, and uh, I'm just at a little uh, free camp spot alongside the road. There's several of them up and down through here. And tonight we got a new product from uh, Nightcat. Now this is brand new for 2023. They just come out with this. But what we have here is the brand new Nightcat uh, uh, lay flat uh, hammock. Now I was not as prepared as I should have been and I did not bring a knife. So we got the new hammock here and we're going to open it up, take a look at it and then I'm going to try to set it up for the first time. Now, this looks slightly more complicated than a regular hammock, but not a lot. So you get it, it comes in this plastic bag. It comes in this black ripstop nylon compression sack. So, nice sack, has carry handles and uh, compression cords so you can press it down a little bit not a lot but you can pre compress it down some so that's pretty nice open up our zipper and let's take it out and see what all comes with it now here's your instruction manual am I still in frame yeah so there's your instruction manual this one has straps that go to the bottom of the tree too and uh, we may have to read these instructions a little bit so of course it says take out all accessories look at the camo on this this is really a nice camo uh, there's our stake and this must be our our cords this is I'm assuming the tent or the tar the cover and this is the tarp itself and oh I think this actually comes with a uh, under storage rack that'd be nice so we got our bag I believe this is a uh, storage area to hang stuff under we got our, our hammock itself our cover and inside this package we get one. These are just uh, straight straps. Those might be tree straps. I'm not sure. Let's see what else we got in here. Yes, those are your tree straps. And these are your cinch down. To cinch it down with. At the bottom. So you got four, four straps in case they go in. And let's put that back in the bag. And then in this bag which has a chai string on it. You have your tent poles. This is what goes around it. And these are your spreader bars. 
this is what keeps the uh, unit flat and they are wrapped in plastic and they are aluminum so let's get enough plastic off that that it doesn't get in the way of putting it together I'll get that off later well, actually it just peeled right off once we got it going put the trash in there and so you have your spreader bars your uh, bug screen bars the hammock itself the tarp the tree straps the cinch down straps and your pole bag there so anyway let me uh get this started setting up and then we'll come back all right i put one of my tree straps around that tree and that is about eye level height for me of course i stand in a little dip and uh on this other tree over here i have the second one and it was about eye level but i was standing on a high spot so uh may have to do a little adjusting there but this is the first time pitching it so uh it'll be a little bit of trial and error so let me gather up our tent or our hammock body and we'll take a look at it here on the end it has some real nice uh carabiners guys this uh rubber bottom is like a rip stop and it's almost like rubbery feeling it's a really heavy heavy material it's thick you can use this as a tent on the ground as well and that is a really heavy bottom right there and then i got my other end i know uh it may be pitched a little high but uh it may go down quite a bit too you know i'm not a little feller so Anyway, let's uh, work on it some more. So on each end, on the bottom, you have this uh, tunnel here. And this is where your spreader bar goes. And this is what keeps your uh, hammock uh, spread apart. So you thread your bar through the bottom. And that is a very thick material I'll let you get it through there uh, you're probably not frame okay so in the end of each of these straps there is a pocket it's sewn right there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where the end of your your spreader bar goes. And this is the first time it's been set up, so this is really tight. So anyway, that's that's how it goes there. That's the spreader bar put on there. So that will keep our hammock uh, spread out. And you can see there. How it works I'll go the other end do the other end so now we're gonna put our fly on and these rods these aluminum rods have a curve to them so they're curved so that they form this arch and you feed your rod through this mesh loop here and then you go through the other side Sorry, I'm hitting the tripod. And on this side, there is a, a tab for that to go in. So, you bend your rod around until you get it into this tab here on this side. And then you've got a clip on this side, and you have a clip on the other side. Now this is going to want to keep turning over until we t get it uh, fastened to the tree. But that's how it's going to look right there. These are lightweight aluminum poles. These weigh practically nothing. I'm going to do this other end. Put our pole together. Now you got to kind of look for the bend and 
get it to where it arches because it can you know you could turn this one up and that's not the proper arch on it now the older models used to have a couple guy lines that kept them from the hammock from flipping over where this one has the tree stake the tree tree straps so let's stretch her on out here get our tent fly up now that's looking extremely high right now but and we got our clip here and on the other side we got our other clip and I have my door on this side, which is probably not where I wanted. I should have turned it around. Let's see how hard that is to do. So. Let's just ease it to the ground. Have it wrong. It's not that hard to fix. Just turned around. Now we don't have our straps on it, so of course it's going to flip over. And I'm trying to pitch it as tight as possible right now because I know it's going to sag. I weigh 350 pounds, so. We know this is going to sag down. But it's not bad right there right now. So there we go. Now what we have is our tree straps here. These go around the tree. And I hope they're long enough. They go around the base of the tree. I'm going to get them about even. And then we're going to just wrap it around once. Now on the bigger tree, I don't know if it'll wrap around one, once and still reach. I don't know if these will reach now. <laughs> With a single wrap, we may have to not use the, the wrap. All right, the instructions say to go around the tree twice, but I don't have enough, I don't think I have enough left there to do that so you how this goes so this is a spring loaded clip and you push down feed your strap up through the bottom and then you just simply pull and you pull until you're your that's your level that's holding pretty good so let's go do the same on the other end and pull it tight although Maybe should not pull these quite so tight until we get the other one on. Uh, yeah, let's see when we get down there. There we go, boys. She's set up. So you pull, you tighten each side until it's level and flat. Now this side is a little bit higher than that side, but that's okay. I want my head to be slightly higher than my feet anyway. And uh, I didn't have room to go around the wraps, but it still works uh, if you just get a single wrap. That thing's tight as a banjo string. So, uh, anyway, so here's your door. You got double zips. And it zips all the way to the top on each side. 
Oh, I'm not. Better if I keep it in frame, wouldn't it? And there is your rain, or your. What I liked about it, check this out. It's got handles here to help assist you get up. So, all right, I'm gonna set you on the tripod back here. And I'm gonna try and get in it. And uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, wish me luck. Cause here I go. Better take my gun out of my pocket. Let's try this thing out and see if I fall out, break my neck, make a fool out of myself. So she's holding so far. It's laying pretty flat. It's not as wide as I thought it would have been. It's nice having these handles because you can pull yourself up. Your rain fly or your bug net zips easy. Stays up off your face good. I'm a big guy, so this could be an inch or two wider for me. But by the time I put my sleeping pad in here, I don't know how far off the ground I am. But it does lay pretty flat. And this would be good for a side sleeper such as myself. If I can get turned over without flipping it. So yeah. This is great for a side sleeper. And you can just throw that back over the top. Get that out of your way. Yes, you can definitely side sleep. And like I said, I weigh 350 pounds. And this thing is actually really comfortable. Oh. And I'm tired. It took longer to set it up. Well, this is the first time I set it up. And this is the reason I brought it down here to set it up. So I could learn about what I need to do. Because this is uh, definitely a new type of hammock for me. Uh, I just hope uh, Sheila don't take it away from me. Because I really do like sleeping on my side. This would be perfect. Uh, I don't know how far off the ground I am. This thing has lots of room. I don't see any storage pockets right off. Yeah, there's one down there. And one right up here by the head. So there are storage pockets in here. So anyway, guys, plenty long enough. I mean, I can put my head up, got room, my feet don't touch. So let's uh, finish setting it up. We'll put the rain fly on it and uh, see how it looks with the rain fly. This thing is awesome. Now this is a pricey. It's, it's not near as pricey as most lay flat hammocks. Uh, this one runs 219. Uh, so it's 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 not an inexpensive hammock, but what it comes with is it's exceptionally well made. This is all ripstop nylon, aluminum poles. You know, real nice, uh, no seal mesh there. So anyway, guys, let's uh, try. Me getting out of it. And I was able to get out of it. Get my shoes off.
and there we go. Okay, you have a nice pocket on that side and the same pocket on the lower side. You do have hooks here. You could take a piece of cordage and run your ridge line up there and hang up a, a light or something. And uh, anyway, here's your grab handle. Those things are handy. Definitely helps a fat feller like me to get out. So anyway, guys, that is a look at the uh, the outer part of it. Let's put the uh, rain fly on it and check it out, see what it looks like. Now for a rain fly, and this is made out of a really nice, all the seams are taped, a heavy duty ripstop nylon. This thing is, a, seems like it's extremely ruggedly made. It's not a lightweight hammock or a lightweight cover, I should say. So let's see how it goes on. Let's find the side with our zipper. Should be. Let's see. There's our zipper. So it will go this side. So we just throw our rain cut fly over. So you hook your carabiner in up there. Hook your other carabiner in up here to your to your line. You can probably take that one a little farther that way. And then on each corner. You have a strap, a buckle here that buckles into this, and you go around it and buckle your buckles in. About as easy a rain fly to put on. So once you get it cinched, you got these little buckles here. They can be tightened down. And you can pull that tighter to tighten your rain fly down. And that's pretty much it, guys. Your door has Velcro. Two places. There you go guys, that is a look at the Night Cat Lay Flat Hammock, uh, available from Amazon, I'll leave a link to it. They've changed their logo there on it, everybody used to complain about the, the logo, but it never bothered me, I could care less. If that's the company's logo, that's their logo, Night Cat. Here's your buckles. This can be tightened. Like I said, this can be cinched down around that. You have a toggle here and a loop there. That can be pulled together. You can uh, have toggles here that I assume are to tie your uh, rain fly back. And uh, 
anyway guys this just a quick look at it first setup went pretty good uh no major difficulties the only thing i do different is next time i'll find trees a little closer together and uh so i can double wrap those because i do feel like if it wanted to roll this way that the tree strap would not be wrapped would allow it to roll and you don't want that so next time i'll find trees where i can uh, get it closer together but anyway this thing is awesome this material is very nice i see no the stitching is good this whole thing is seam sealed every seam on this is sealed you can see it there beautiful tip beautiful camo I almost forgot there's your gear rack that goes underneath of it it clips to the the uh, underside there with the same clips that uh, clip your lower tree straps so and it is adjustable it's a little low on that far side of course I'm leaning a little bit now it's gonna take a little practice getting this set up just perfect but that gear rack in there was a great uh, addition to it put your shoes in there put your pack in there keep stuff off, off the ground away from the the dampness it's underneath of you it's covered by the fly it's waterproof on the bottom so any water splashing up is not going to uh, come up and hit your your gear so that's awesome guys so anyway that is a look at the nightcat lay flat hammock <laughs>